Hi, I am one of the developers behind the Apertus Open Source Cinema project. In these few video clips I want to give you a brief introduction of the most important aspects of the project. First, what does open source cinema on free software open hardware really mean? Before the digital cinema revolution in the last couple of years with the RED or cameras from ARRI and other companies, uh, the UPs had a pretty clear vision of what was going on inside their cinema camera. They had uh, film and mechanical parts and they knew how to manipulate parts of the camera to uh, achieve their creative look and their desires that they wanted to have on film. Now with the introduction of digital cameras that has changed drastically since the camera turned basically into a black box that had a few buttons and ways to influence the image, but in reality the DOP had no idea what was going on inside the camera. With Apertus we want to do things completely different. We encourage open hardware development as well as free software. And we want to create a tool, a camera that we as filmmakers love to use. With free software the entire source code is published on the internet and therefore freely available to anyone. Now, even though not everyone in the project is a software developer, anyone benefits from the work done by all contributors, therefore forming a community. Now, let's take a look at the camera. The core component is manufactured by Elfil Inc. and this is the main hardware they produce. The key components here are the lens, the lens mount, it's a C-mount with a CS adapter ring. Then on the back of the camera we have a SATA port. This particular model also has a built-in hard drive here in the enclosure, but that's optional. Ethernet, USB 1.0, and on the side of this model we have an additional SYNC port and a serial console interface. So the three main components inside the camera are the sensor front end, right at the lens mount, it hosts the image sensor. Then the image sensor is connected to the second PCB inside this camera, which holds the other two main components. The first one is the so-called FPGA, it does the image processing at high speed. And the third component is an embedded CPU with a Linux operating system running on it and that deals with interfaces and outside communication. Apertus now builds everything around this core camera to turn it into a full feature digital cinema camera. For example, we connect a hard drive, which can also be an SSD, directly to the camera SATA port. We have a battery pack that powers both the camera and the hard drive. And over Ethernet we have a viewfinder computer, which can be any desktop, laptop or in this case a netbook with touchscreen interface, which runs our custom viewfinder software and which can be used to control all camera parameters in real time as well as view real time video feed from the camera. In the future we also want to support an Android version which can run on your favorite tablet. This is the Apertus Viewfinder software we developed. I want to give you a quick rundown of the main features and show you some dialogues. In the middle of the main dialogue that we use, we have live video feed from the camera. It's real time. We have an information area on top that shows us the resolution we're recording, the frame rate, white balance, the compression ratio, how much free space our hard drive still has, and the current st status of the camera. Currently we are in standby, not recording. Then on the left hand side here we can alter the settings that are marked here on the lower bottom side. For example I can now alter the shutter, the electronic shutter. And by decreasing the shutter time the image gets darker. But then again I can increase the gain to 60B and it will be brighter again. Also introducing more noise of course. Then down here we have a live histogram. The playback button can be used to view uh, video files that are already on the hard drive. Here I can record a still image or start a recording. On the right hand side here we have the so-called quick menu for features that are hidden somewhere in the menu. For example I can scale the video in the middle here for advanced focus pulling. I can zoom to one-to-one -to -one pixel mapping or to the image fitting into the screen size here. And I have a data rate indicator and you can switch color modes to a RAW mode that we'll explain later. And for stereo 3D rigs we can also switch between left and right eye here. Now let's take a look at the main menu here. We can select resolution, appropriate frame rate. Both have a custom button as well where we can set up advanced features like mirroring the image or shooting 
rotate it in portrait mode or we can type in any custom resolution we want with this touchpad here. In the second settings dialog here we can adjust gamma and black level. We also have a real-time video here and there's a bunch of stuff that's not really implemented yet. It's just a placeholder for now. Now shooting in color mode is of course very convenient as you can see a real-time image here and it's basically what you get in post as well. But much higher quality is possible with shooting RAW. So the RAW mode here is called JP46 or just JP4. These are actually two different modes. But what you see when I switch the modes here is that I lose part of my real-time preview as it turns into a black and white image that is somehow distorted. This is how it's actually recorded. So you get more information that way but you lose the ability to view the video and currently we don't have any software that can demosaic this uh, raw image in real time so you can also view it in color. But this is planned for the future and the second JP4 raw mode has an additional advantage since certain image processing steps inside the camera are skipped and therefore it allows even higher quality at lower data rate but in this case if we press it we don't get any real time preview anymore at all so it's not even black and white and also the software that is able to display this mode in real time is not developed yet. With my Apertus prototype here, you see that some features are already implemented, some are still missing and I'm sure there are bugs somewhere, but I hope I was able to give you a preview of what could be possible in the future.